Hi, I'm Fairy to 64 and um, today I'm going to be making a Barrows Guide for RuneScape. Yes, that's right, subscribers, Gasp in horror. Um, sorry for any of you who don't like RuneScape, but I play it, so face it. No hater comments, please. Right, moving, moving on. Um, this is meant to show you how to do Barrows cheaply and efficiently. Um, fast. I've made quite a lot of money from Barrows recently, um, and I'll show you how you can as well. Um, these are my stats, in case you're wondering. Um, high mage is quite important, um, but 82 is ample. You're going to be sallying, purely because it's cheap and it hits high with high mage. Uh, then you want an inventory of Monkfish, the lower levels could take Shark and a melee weapon for Arim. So and house delis and a prayer pot. But you're only going to prayer pot if you have Arim or Dark in the tunnel. Uh so let's go. Right, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna Teddy House. Uh I recommend you have um a Canifis teleport in your house. If not, you could be on Ancients as I am and just cast the Kirill teleport. So I'm going to go through the Kirill portal and boom, I'm in Canifis. You can use the bank here to restock or um, dump rewards. Um, so this is assuming you've done, I think it's in Aid of the Myreek. Go down here. You probably already know this way already, but. Sorry, I'm lagging a bit. My computer doesn't like uh, recorders that much. And out here, now this bit, you should have about 40 run left. If not, you might want to just let it recharge a bit. You can always have some super energies in your bank, which you use when you're back at Canifis. But you shouldn't lose that much food to ghasts, even if you are walking. I lose a maximum of about two per trip. Because they keep missing me, as demonstrated. And we're on the tediously long boat journey, which I'm going to skip. And we're back in Morton. Right, most of you will probably know where Barrows is. I lost one piece of food to ghasts, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, poo. And typically, as it's me, I've forgotten Spade. So, but if you have, don't worry if you've forgotten anything. You can either take the boat back up, which is the slow, tedious way, or if you've done some quest or other, which I obviously have because I've got Questscape, um, you can just go straight down here. And because this is going to be boring, I will see you in a minute. Right, here I am again after that rather humiliating forgetting speed, but oh well, it happens. So now I'm assuming most of you know where Barrows is. Um, but for those who don't, uh, it's here, it's the east of Morton, there's Canifis where we came from, and here's Varrock. So if you want to run, hello. For some unknown reason, you just simply go from the GE up here, along here, through the dungeon, out here, to Canifis, and then you can either take the boat or take the long noobish way that will lose you tons of food and probably not make it worthwhile anyway. Right, here we are in Barrows. First, you're going to do Darok. Always do Darok first because he's one of the ones you have to pray for, otherwise, he will one hit KO you as I found out in the past. So, just dig. I'm sure many of you know how to do this. Melee Prey. Sally on Mage. 
everything's fine. You shouldn't use up too many prayer pots doing this. We should do about one glug, rarely. Because, as you can see with 92 Mage, Sally just hits straight through it. As soon as he's dead, make sure he's dead. He's got a nasty habit of lying on low HP on 1 or 2 HP. Um, and then attacking you when you put your prayer off. He didn't that time. Alright, then as soon as you've done up the stairs, because otherwise you'll get unnecessary prayer drain. And then, next one you're going to do is Arim. Sorry, Kirill, because he's the other one you have to pray for. Well, some of you might not have to, but uh, I certainly do. So, just range pray. I Sally Kirill. Purely because he also has quite high melee and range defense. So, it doesn't really make a difference what you do against him, but since I've already got some tar, I thought, let's just do mage. And it's hitting quite nicely. And the theory behind this is you still got prayer pots left over at the end sorry, prayer points left over at the end. A few, that's a bad kill. But now you can go on to do the other um three in whatever order you want. If you have a tunnel with Dorok or Kirill in, leave it. You'll just have to take a prayer pot when you're in the tunnel. I've got Aram in the tunnel, which is okay, because I'm wearing Dehyde. I don't have to uh, pray against him. Although you can if you want. And you still have prayer points left over, so you may as well use them. They'll only be drained anyway. I'm going to skip ahead the other three kills, purely because you probably already know what the other ones are like. I'll give you a, like a brief flash up on the screen. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 